Welcome back, self-quarantined achievers, to your quarantined easy achievers gaming podcast. I was not expecting that, by the way. Yeah, I bet you weren't. I bet you weren't. <laughs> this is where we discuss the previous week in gaming. Maybe go for a topic too. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting self-quarantined himself, uh, roughly I, what three miles three, away, two miles. Yeah, uh, is that what like two a mile or two? Two miles away Two from miles. me yeah. is my co-host, yeah. Alex. How you doing? How are you, Alex? Quarantined. Are you staying clean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't touch anyone, man. No, Can't I ain't touching no one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we laugh in this side of the earth slowly burning around us. Oh, yeah. You got to have... If... You got to, you know, keep the spirits up. Of course, of course. If you like our jury talk about how the earth will slowly explode then you can check us out on all the free services podcast services of your choosing every friday youtube every friday as well you can go over there um if you like that even more you can go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers you could support us for only a dollar gets you access to our exclusive for every month a couple more bucks you get everything early if you're a freeloader don't worry just give us five stars like us everywhere check out our socials at twitter um, at EVM9000, at Crazy Skater. This week, for the news... It's not much. It's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing. Absolutely yeah. nothing. This will not be a news show. <laughs> this, this will be, be a, a uh, sit back. Just, yeah, yeah. I want you guys to grab, I don't know, whatever you fancy. A, some sort of alcoholic beverage. Non-alcoholic sort of, beverage. Non, of course, Mountain yeah. Dew. Um, so sort of drug paraphernalia. Yeah. Legal, of course. And just chill with us. You know just, what I'm saying? For me, I'm sipping on a very cold Diet Coke. This is mm, fantastic. Mm. It goes down smooth. Yeah. I got a... sipping uh, on anything? Yeah, I got a normal Coke with some oh, ice. Oh, okay. Is it caffeine-free? That's an ongoing segment here. Um, you drink caffeine this is my caffeine. first caffeine drink of the day, so I needed some... Whoa. Okay, so you need a little kick for the... Yeah, for the, just for the night. For the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm... I never pay attention to the caffeine. I'm curious mm-hmm. if I, I don't think I ingest any anymore. I think I used to. I mean, I I, I would get a hit when I do the coffee, of course, in the morning, yeah. if I ever need it. Mm. But I don't think I get coffee anymore. I'm not, I, yeah. I, see, I think I'm. Yeah, I drink too much caffeine because the other day I got mm-hmm. a really bad headache, and oh um, no. Yeah, I, like I took I took Tylenol. It wasn't working. I took an ibuprofen. Mm-hmm. Was not working. So eventually, <laughs> I just drank like a something with caffeine. It worked. And I'm like, well, there's my answer. <laughs> so there I need it to is. slowly, gradually, like get rid of uh, caffeine. So that's why I'm just yeah. today. I only have one caffeine drink, just so mm-hmm. I can limit myself. It's understandable. I went through the same thing. I think one time where I was like, oh, I I haven't drunk a soda today, and then you slowly realize, oh my god, I'm addicted to sugar or whatever it is. Yeah, caffeine, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I think for me it was the sugar because it was just hit me like someone grabbed a baseball bat and shoved it in my face for like 20 oh, minutes yeah <laughs> oh alex hmm. i have a question yeah what have you been playing so much Do we, oh I, god I, me too oh yeah so this i was playing Kingdom Hearts. great <laughs> oh yeah for sure <laughs> we have time <laughs> um, it's like I don't know if you guys watch Twilight Zone or if you do Alex at home. Mm-hmm. This is just like the seminal episode. I don't remember the title, but it's essentially this guy. I'm gonna walk you through this guy. Right. This, he goes into a, a bank vault, I believe, um, and it accidentally closes behind him, I believe, mm-hmm. or something like that. And then like an apocalypse happens outside, so he walks outside and he's like, "Oh my god, it's all gone!" Because he had like a terrible job and he couldn't read his books like he wanted to. And then finally, he could read his books because he can't. He didn't have to work anymore. Oh, so that's hilarious! He goes and reads the book. It ends very sadly because he accidentally breaks his glasses and <laughs> can't can't read. So yeah, uh, yeah. So I assume he just ate a shotgun after that. Mm. So, uh, but um, enough about Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah, actually, I wanted to say. Um, I found out a couple hours ago. I got a text from my uh, boss from work, or okay. it's like a group chat. And it's to all employees, it was like, so with our district manager and employee meeting on Friday, 
and everybody has to attend if not somebody's gonna get written up so i'm like what does this have to do with <laughs> so i'm really hoping you're like we close <laughs> You're just like, oh, we're close. You're probably closing up. You're probably like, oh, oh God, I hope so. Because <laughs> from where I work, I haven't closed yet. I mean, we're taking precaution and only doing like certain things, uh, but we haven't closed. So yeah, I'm for, hoping uh, we close. Same thing for me. We haven't closed, but we've minimalized it so much where I don't mind it. Yeah. Uh, we've, we're doing things where it's just l- literally you, you hand them the item that they want and that's it. You oh, know, yeah, You don't for have sure. to touch them. You don't, have to, you don't yep. have to make out with them if you don't want to, of course. <laughs> uh, you don't have to do any of that. Nope, none of that. Alex, mm. but enough about making out with random strangers that come to your job. What have you been playing? So earlier this week, I was playing good old kingdom hearts 2 on critical yes you were enjoying it it's i heard f- you my first critical I heard, I heard you were destroying the game and you haven't died once is that true oh god no <laughs> <laughs> look i'm I always on the first part and i've died a couple times hey i'm not oh, ashamed god. of it i've died a good bit it's god, my first time I'm, on critical ladies and gentlemen at home <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't want to be that guy. Oh yeah, but I know. he was. Like, yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying in this part. I'm like, really, man? I fucking I smacked through that. Yep. To be fair, I've done this before. This is my first time. Yeah. This is my first rodeo on Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical. So maybe I'm just a seasoned veteran, and you're over there like, what is happening? Yeah, and <laughs> I've I, never I, played the game on proud or critical mode. Oh wow, really? Not even proud. Yeah, not even proud. I think I started proud, but I never actually finished it. But this is mm-hmm. the first time ever. I've always gone normal because just I just like enjoying the game. But for um, a, 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 I don't remember what I was at last week. But just for a quick update, because I don't have much to add. I'm mm-hmm. at the end of the game, and I can beat it at any time I'd like. I'm just yeah. getting like you know leveling up, all that good stuff. But where are you at? Um, on Kingdom Hearts two, I just finished Hercules. I did the. Um, oh no i'm i just went into the pirates of the caribbean for, for the first oh, time okay uh, yeah yeah so so you, you've you've made your way yeah you made your way you're not you're not too bad not no no too no bad. no. I, i'm seven hours in because surprisingly i'm going pretty quick that's just because i mean i guess i'm skipping so many cutscenes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah and the cutscene adds a good 30 oh, hours yeah, of the game. Sure. <laughs> and i enjoy that you start with so many ap points and stuff like that it's so nice it's but, so um, nice you get a huge dump of Oh, oh yeah. Bunch of um, but I was playing that, and then I jumped on to Doom Eternal because it came out the other oh, day. Oh yeah! And boy, I'm loving it. It's I so much fun. Have fallen in love. Oh yeah, it's so good. Doom Eternal, so good. You th- you sit there and you think when you're playing the game, like, oh god, <clears throat> you know. I've seen so much of it, so I knew I'd like it. No, yeah. And then I turned the game and I see on. I never, I I never like looked at anything for much. it, so. I, I looked at eh, I looked at some preview coverage. I would eh, not mm. much honestly because I'm like it, I liked the original Doom 2016, yeah. so yeah. I'm not I'm, I don't need to be sold on this game. The only thing I've seen is when they showed the gameplay trailer. That was it, and then the trailers, mm-hmm. of course. But I never watched actual gameplay of it. It um, is so good. Oh yeah, for sure. Now, do you I, think it's a little harder than the first one? So this is a good discussion. Mm-hmm. Uh, you uh, you are coming at this for a much different angle than I am. I played Doom 2016 in 2016. Oh, you yeah, You played yeah. it this year, a few months ago, yep. actually. And I finished so it. You, it's fresh on your mind. Now, oh, yeah. from my memory, the question you asked, I would say this is easier. Oh, yeah? Than Doom 2016 from memory, because I remember the very last second to last level being extraordinarily mm. hard what were you playing as in on? like uh, that's a great question <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why don't you fill time while i look it up what okay what, what do you think is it harder or um or, or, i think or, it's a yeah. slightly a little harder because i just played the first game and i mean i was enjoying it but i'm only i was only playing it on a hermit planet which i'm assuming it's normal but uh, yeah, this one I'm playing on Hermit Plenty as well. Because um, I was just enjoying the game. But um, I've died a, a couple times. And I do enjoy the extra life 
thing that's in the game because like i'll be in a that is nice I, i'll be in a pickle of just like oh god I, i've died a couple times but then i forgot um i pick up an extra life and then i just come back and i then i'll wreck everybody that was in there um, it's so nice but yeah no and it's I so much fun so strong but now, I had, what do you huh good now what do you make of where where are you right now i can give you where i am um, and they'll give the audience like a, a roundabout where we are i killed the doom hunters and I uh, killed that priest guy. I think it was like the second one because the very first one you kill at the very, very beginning of the game was like a cutscene. Yeah, the I very guess. beginning. So, there's three of them. You get the first one, and then there's a second guy that runs off. Yeah, so I got the second guy because I just killed the Doom Hunter things, and I'm assuming there's one left. Um, yes. But I just finished. I finished that, and I'm at back at the Fortress of Doom, so I haven't gone at, past that yet. Okay, so you're so freshly. You're about a third of the way through the game. I think so. If I had yeah. to give a quick estimation. Yeah, I think it's like I am in mission four or five. Latter, I'm in the latter half of the game, so oh, I don't okay, have okay. much left. Um, I am. I. How do I say this without spoilers? I am basically. I'll say like four levels before the end. Okay. Roughly. I don't know how long those levels are. Those could, those could all be 20 minutes. Those could all be mm. 10 minutes. I would I say know. between halfway to the ending, you're about what? It is what? one of those. Uh, two I'm thirds? two thirds for sure. Yeah. For sure, two thirds. Yeah. I will say it is confusing because I have o- uh, basically <clears throat> almost all the collectibles now. Mm. So I'm curious if the next couple of missions are almost going to have no collect- collectibles. Yeah. Because Probably I have all the crystals. Story. Oh, and an, another note. I've been 100%ing this every level I can. Oh, wow. Because really? it's so satisfying to like get everything and not leave before you can uh, 100% everything, which is like, for me in this game specifically, because the collectibles almost make you stronger, especially yeah. with like, you have these kind of things called predator suit perks, which make your suit stronger and give you more abilities. Um, and there's another thing called a crystal, which gives you like actual upgrades to your health, armor, and ammo, which mm. is like even better. And then there's collectibles inside of your own ship that you can go back to and, and get. Just, yeah, that was, I thought that was probably pretty cool. That was cool. First off, the ship. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, it, it it's not awesome. even a ship itself. It's like you're literally like in an old ruins, but it's, it's like created like a ship. It's weird. It's like it's like a cathedral in space. Oh yeah, yeah, it, yeah, looks, yeah. it looks awesome. It it's lo- a cathedral it tower awesome. type of thing. And Alex, and I won't spoil anything here, but uh, uh, further on, you you'll actually get an explanation on how Doom Guy became Doom. Which I know is weird, but okay. Doom guys from the original games, um, yeah. you are you are the same dude apparently. So okay. you do see an explanation of how, how Doom guy and he was like just a marine killing demons transformed oh, okay. into this That's cool. Superman marine like yeah, demon yeah, yeah, yeah. hunter thing, and it's kind of cool. I don't have full knowledge right now. I just know I've just seen a few things, but you do okay. get explanations, which is nice. And yeah. I honestly didn't expect to even care, <laughs> but yeah. I do. <laughs> That's cool. I care. I care about what this guy is, what his deal was. They've alluded to certain things. I'm like, interesting. I'm curious on if they will hmm. either finish on that or if it's just there to kind of like make me excited. Or something. Yeah. But it's super cool. Super but satisfying. Yeah. Love it. I wish um, I could play it right now. I don't want to be doing this. Oh, no. <laughs> but like if um, there's one more game we've been playing and it's a lot um, recently. I got two. I got two. I got two. I'm, before we get into uh, the second one, let me okay. it'll be quick for my second one here. I've been playing Twin Breakers, a How sacred is symbol that? adventure. I did not only play it, Alex. I beat it. Oh wow! Already? It was v- yeah, it was very good. Um, mm. If you do not know, this is called Twin Breakers, a sacred symbol. It's written by um, a I don't even know what you'd call him now, but a, a, a video game podcaster called Colin Moriarty. He wrote it. And Lilymo Games developed the game. Mm-hmm. Very fun. I never have really played a game like this. This is again okay. called Twin Breakers, and it is a uh, what is the word? Uh, you know, Pong. Alex? Yes. Pong? It's a Pong game, so it's like a, a brick breaker. That's a, that's the name for it. Okay, I was gonna say it's like a brick breaker game. Yeah, you literally brick breaker game, and you play as these two guys in a ship um, that's like exploring space to find this 
a ship that has been lost um and it's very cool there's it's it's a mix of arcadey fun high score grabbing game and a crazy story and if you know Colin Moriarty his this is a Colin Moriarty story and I love it it's it was so much fun quick what maybe three hours oh wow. um yeah and it's twin breakers but eventually it gets to where you have to control four of them oh wow so Alex you think the native you know the natural ping pong of one on one side one on the left side one on the right side yeah and then they'll have the bottom ones and then there's levels where you have to control both of them so oh, you're you're st- yes it is as terrifying as it sounds so your sticks control up up down down on left and right uh, uh okay. of the of the ships all right and then left and right control the bottom portions and you're trying Weird. to maneuver and remember it's it is the strangest but most challenging uh experience i've had to endure in a while and i loved it i i surprisingly like the game that's that's good i saw that it was on the vita hashtag vita lives <laughs> yes yes it's on the vita of of course if you know him that's there was no way he's releasing this game and not putting it on vita yeah um and it's cross by only ten dollars so i do recommend if you guys if that sounds any remotely fun go check it out it's only 10 bucks 10 bucks you get cross by meaning you get it on ps4 and vita so you can go to vita and play it and it's dual platinums meaning you'll get two trophy lists i was gonna say how are the trophies on that not terrible i probably won't platinum it because it it just it's not it's nothing crazy it wouldn't be like weeks of out of time but yeah. at most, it would it would take something that was pretty hard. Where I think I have to I have to rebeat the game essentially. Okay. Um, and I think eventually I'll get the platinum because it's not a long game. Um, I think one of the hardest ones was beating the game in one day. Literally, it says mm, beat the I game gotcha. in twenty four hours. Yeah. Which isn't too bad, but I did that, so I feel like that was the hardest one, honestly. And okay. the rest is just kind of like keep playing the game, and you'll eventually get everything. Yeah. That sounds that sounds cool. Super fun. I again recommend trying it out. It's only ten bucks. Only ten bucks. And it is re- worth it. But yeah, I have to give it a shot. Moving on to a little that, game, huh? To a little game called mm-hmm. Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Something I wasn't expecting yep. to like. <laughs> this is my first Animal Crossing game ever. Same. Me too. Yeah. Now, if you guys have been listening, and I know you have. Uh, over the past few weeks, I've been constantly mentioning Animal Crossing because I knew my girlfriend would disappear from my reality as soon as this game would come out. Um, and that is surprisingly not true. It's quite the opposite, actually. We're playing it together, and we're playing it more together than not, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's I don't know, it's, it, I, I have troubles explaining this game because I've had people, that, hey, what do you think of it? Like, what is it like? And I'm like, ooh. I, Sims. All I can think of it, yeah, is Minecraft with a little bit of Sims, but you don't have to worry about, you know, feeding and things uh, like that yeah, to keep yourself alive. A very small amount of Sims. Where yeah. You're... It's just like the creativity portion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like I get more Minecraft out of it. Yeah, it's um, like a Minecraft lifestyle type yeah. game where you're making this island yeah, like, into like a town and... Yeah. You're trying to entice people to come, and the people you can't come, you gotta put where you're gonna put the houses, and then. Would you consider you want- it kind of like a tycoon game? Uh, tycoon puts it in such such a a box. Yeah. The tycoon aspect is with the selling. I I, I okay. have to admit though, there is a tycoon aspect where like you're getting these animals and bugs and fishes, and you're selling them for more and more money to eventually pay off this raccoon that you owe a lot of money to. Yeah. Um, it sounds all like a just a giant fever dream because I owe thousands of dollars to a raccoon. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm catching fish. I caught a. I, I never thought I'd be excited to catch a tarantula, but here I am. Um, Man. That thing selling these things for like eight grand. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's really fun. I'm, I'm having a great time, Alex. This is like you said. This is the first time. What do you think? Um, I was not expecting to like this game, but um, the beginning. This is not was, an Alex game. No. Um, what's it called? Um, I started playing it and I was like, uh, okay, it's a little slow. I gotta get you know into it. I don't know what I'm doing, so I started getting more into it. 
and then I kept playing, and then I kept figuring out stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. And I just kept playing, and then my wife was looking at it because she was the one that was interested in it first. So she was like, oh, if if I get a chance, I want to play it. I was like, okay. So she watched me play it. So then the more I was playing it, the more invested she got into that she wanted to play it. So she started playing it, and then we found out that we can play together. Uh, we did actually, because we don't have two Switches, so we actually, I'll use one Joy-Con and she uses the other. And um, like uh, we were using her, because uh, we're on the, uh, on the same island, which I didn't know that that would happen. Yeah, just, just as a... PSA to everyone, if yeah. you want to buy the game, if you buy the game and start it, the first person who starts it on a Switch, that is their island. So, for instance, in Alex's position, he started an island. His wife can now get on his island, but she yep. cannot make a separate island. The only way she can do that is if she de- either deletes the previous island, uh, or you just buy another Switch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But, um... We- we actually got excited of uh, just sharing the island. Uh, it was pretty cool. But um, no, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? That does sound fun. It does. It is. Um, but the only thing that I don't enjoy is that, um, for example, she was starting to play, and I joined her. So she'll call. She'll do this thing called. She'll call resident. I'll come in. I'll join her. She can load up her inventory and do stuff but i can't i can only like catch things and um use certain material or like or um like uh tools but i can't do all the functions that i can if you were by yourself i see so i'm something like a side or like a like a partner type of thing so like but you can switch leaders oh that makes sense okay so you can switch who's the main person yeah so like for example if she was the leader getting the inventory doing this stuff i was grabbing stuff for her it would go to this like storage box um it's like it looks like the recycle box thing but then if i became the leader uh she would would just shake our joy con and it will switch leaders instantly then i can go to my inventory and then she can catch stuff and go there and it's vice versa it's very interesting we're getting used okay, to that's it now. Cool. It's almost like baton passing. It sounds kind of like. yeah. You like you're throwing much. a baton. It's like all right, now I'm gonna go do this. So you do the, uh, that. That sounds like very cooperative. Which sounds yeah, fun. yeah, no, for sure it is. And we've been doing that all night. Like we've been catching so much stuff that we haven't seen, and I'm like, oh well, switch me because I want to get it. Uh, like even though we're both have it because the same island, I uh, we each have our separate houses. So we're decorating it differently. So I'm like, well, I want that oh, so animal. So you, you my... can have separate houses. Yes. Oh, I, I just assumed you had the same one. No, she has her own, uh, which I have a house and she has a tent. She's going to upgrade it to it. Um, but yeah, we have our own residencies. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. What? Um. Okay. That's a, I, I, surprisingly sounds fun. I no, yeah, hear... it's been pretty fun. I did hear about the leader function. I didn't know how it worked, but I mean, hey, you're making it work. No, oh, yeah, for sure. We didn't know how it worked until we, we like we were just figuring it out. That's that's kind of cool that you can kind of play and you're you're figuring out as you're playing it too. Yeah, it's pretty funny too because if she's leader, uh, she'll be walking towards the other side of the map, and um, it'll pull me with her. So like, I'll disappear and then pop up right in front of her, and then your little guy's expression is like so. Surprised, and then it just keeps going. <laughs> You're like, "Oh crap!" So that's that's funny. Right. That's kind of fun. Yeah. That's, that sounds fun. I um, it's you can tell there's different space for me because we have I have two switches, so it's two different yeah. islands, and um, uh, the main difference is just you can have your, your complete difference, and it's kind of cool because you can go to another island. She has a chance of getting different things because it's for instance, could be raining on her island, so yeah. more bugs will come out, or the specific fish will come out, and yeah. on mine, it will be, I don't know, uh, not raining, so certain ones will still be there at nighttime. And, uh, like I said, tarantulas are only out at night, so you can go to special islands with Nook Miles, and yeah. uh, get special spawns there, too. It's all fun. I love it. Yeah, I'm very... Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot, surprisingly. It, 
It's funny, yeah, again, surprisingly, because it's scratching a specific itch I didn't even know I had, which I think was from the Minecraft days of how much yep. I used to play Minecraft. Oh, yeah, for sure. I haven't I was played like, a game like that since Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Because I was looking at it earlier, I'm like, do I want to play Doom, Warzone, or Animal Crossing? And I looked at it, I'm like, I was like, told my wife, I was like, you want to play Animal Crossing? And she was like, yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, that that's a that's a... That's a pull for Animal Crossing because those are two fantastic experiences, and you're picking oh, yeah, Animal Crossing sure. over that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I was in a similar situation. I think it was two nights ago, mm. or is that the very beginning? Man, across me, I was like, "Do I go back to Doom because I'm almost done, or do I, do I play it?" And I'm like, eh, "I'll do more Animal Crossing." You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me get some fish. Let me pay off this raccoon, and then so I can owe him more money after that. It's exciting. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Alex, yes. Quick question: Did you? hear about half-life alex coming out i did and i'm very interested what a weird time it is it is a half-life game has actually come out it was announced and it came out it very quickly too it, i think it was announced in december or something like that was it december maybe it was uh, um, november but i mean yeah. it was announced quickly and it released on time and it's out reviews are great they're all nines, fo- like nines, four point five out of fives. Reviews. They're getting very good reviews, and it's a VR game, which is even crazier. Um, you know, VR games tend not to get reviewed as high as if it was just sit down and play the game. From but what I've heard, yeah, it got a perfect, it got a perfect score on IGN. So I mean, yeah, that's from what I've heard, it's one of the most, um, like. Is it like was it the one of the best VR games out there right now, or like I mean, most, um, not in, if you're going straight by scores, I would imagine yes. I mean, if you're going by scores, of course that's a different question for everyone. Or what's the word one that you can uh, interact with the the most? Uh, what's the, what's the right word for that? It's just the most interactive. Is that is, what, is that what you're is there a different? Uh, okay, I thought it was a different yeah, word it's for just that. Interactive. I mean, there could be, of course, but it's it's very interactive. I've seen people pick up like. Uh, what was it? I heard a story of someone picking a chair up mm-hmm. and then applying gravity to it and then uh, doing... Oh, no, no, it was a gravity tether. Okay. So I guess there's a way you can tether gravity to things. So he grabbed a chair, tethered a gravity to one of the enemies, uh-huh. and then threw the chair out the window, and then that pulled the enemy out of the window. So, like, there's just crazy things like that you can do. Yeah. Um. Do you have any pull with Half-Life? Because for um, me, I have zero. I have Absolutely m- zero. I think I played Half Life One like the first hour, but I, other than that, I've never played the Half Life games. I think, I think almost everyone that owned Orange Box played yeah. Half Life for the hour and stopped because yep. they realized it was yep. very old. Um, no offense to Half Life fans, but I played it as a kid. Maybe I'll like it more now, but I played it as a kid and was like, oof. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> um, the, what I was thinking of is immersive. It's apparently it's oh, the yeah. best immersive experience in VR. Okay, immersive, yeah. It, 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 I heard it's very immersive and just, I mean, it looks great now. Oh, yeah, I've, heard, I've want, seen it, yeah. As a uh, kind of breakaway point that I wanted to bring up, it looks great. Let's talk about the price. <laughs> so <laughs> you need a VR headset to experience this because I would love to play this game. Yeah. You would need a VR experience. Uh-huh. VR kit from any of the high end VR markets, right? Okay. So let's say I want Valve's. They made the game correct, right? Yep. So I want Valve headsets. Let's go to Valve's website. So Valve's Index is what it's called, the VR kit. If I want a complete set for the VR kit, I will need to drop $749 to just get the headset. Oh, God. <laughs> To just to get the headset and the controllers, if I just want the headset, I guess I could buy it for five hundred bucks. But I believe you need everything else, the controllers, and and, and I could be wrong. So but, I assume this game is only out on PC. Yes. Okay. Very so, much is. Okay, I was hoping for PS4. I've heard a lot of people be very bullish and be like, "Yeah, it will come eventually." Mm. I'm. I don't know. I don't, I don't see feel like why it they. Will. I don't see why they would, because they can just make people buy it on their pr- platform, and yeah. that guarantees they have to buy an Oculus or not. An, sorry, not an Oculus. That not, doesn't guarantee they have to buy a Valve, but they have to. They have to have the chance of buying one of their stuff mm-hmm. before going. To somewhere. be fair, have there have 
ever been in a Half Life game on PlayStation? Uh, not that I think of it, I don't think was so. Was Orange Box not on PlayStation? I don't remember. I thought I that was 360, but I don't remember if it was on PS3. I'll have to check Off that. Off the top of my head, I want to say no. That's what I think. I, don't, I have no idea. I'm, um, but you can use an HTC Vive, a Samsung Odyssey, an Oculus Rift S, and an Oculus Quest to play this game. So if you have any of those things and a strong enough PC to play them, then you should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm curious if I wonder. I'm gonna do why you. Okay, it was on PS3. I'm, I'm gonna see if my uh, PC is VR compatible and just give you guys a rough estimate of how much money you would have to drop if you want to buy the newest Half Life. Oh God! But right now, what? <laughs> this is a silly question, mm. but are you provoked to buy Half Life, Alex? No. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I mean, it's a silly question. I know. Especially I mean, the audience no. that knows Alex, they'd be like, no. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> no. Alex wants to go spend $700 minimum just for the VR, assuming your PC will run it. Um, but yeah, you would have to buy, assumingly, a new PC for that as well. Yeah, uh, I don't even have a PC to do that. So, <laughs> But yeah, I, it, I, I live in the perfect world of if I had it, of course, but I do not. Yeah. So I would not spend the money to get it. So. No, yeah, I definitely would like would to, to, to try it. So, but uh, no, I'm excited because it looks so good. Yeah, it, like it, it, it's a VR game that looks amazing. Which it's, um, I don't. I feel like I can't say that about many VR games. You know, it's one of those games of they should use for demo at like uh, a Best Buy. So, like, let's say they're trying to sell a computer or the VR headset. Alex, the VR headset. are you trying to make people sick? All right. Huh? You can't be walking around saying we should put VRs on our faces. I, after this whole <laughs> dilemma, okay, we can do that. Oh, you're yeah, right. I, I can get behind that. I can get behind Well, because they used or, to. I remember I Best just, Buy. I just, carry, I just carry an alcohol wipe. We're good. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that works. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I remember the uh, one of the first times that the, those uh, Samsung gears came out, they had them on display at Best Buy, and I tried it when they first came out. It was super cool. But um, they should they should try that if they're gonna do that. They should use this game. I wonder what the best VR headset is. Mm. I I hear a lot of good very stuff good about the HTC. The, yeah, that or the yeah. Oculus, isn't it? Uh, I heard the Quest is the easiest. Which one's the one with the, the big the round controller things? Uh, Oculus, I believe. Is that Oculus? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Which one's the A one lot with of people the, were excited the about the headset Quest because that's like the one the bumps on it. Oh, uh, you I... know the one? It kind of has like it's black, but it kind of has like it's like little circle imprints on it. Isn't that the Vive? It sounds like the Vive. Yeah. Okay. I, I... I don't, I don't know them well, honestly. I see a lot of people use that one, so yeah, I guess you're right with the vibe. I guess if I had a choice, I'd get the... I, I mean, uh, I don't know. I would like the um, Quest, just because mm -hmm. of how easy it seems. You Is know it what the mean? wireless just, one? Yeah, that's the one oh, that's for sure, yeah. literally, it's just a headset. Yeah. And, you, and you're good, which is tempting, but it's like 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. thank you. No, thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Have you ever no. seen uh, those commercials that are on like the streaming services? And the it, there's like I, I think it's for like a Discover card or, or a credit card. And there's one that says that a bunch of people say no, and the other people say yes. <laughs> there's different commercials. There's one that says shows. It sounds like a it, stupid ass commercial. It's a Discover one, and it says no. So it shows like uh, a bunch of people, the different people from TV say no. So like a show like a guy from Friends say no, a person from Sabrina say no, but they all say in very different ways. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the point of the commercial was. I can't remember. I just thought uh -huh. when you said no, 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 that's all I thought about. It's a it, no, no. Yes, I have to send you the video. Yeah, yeah, send it, send it to me, Alex. Mm. Do you got anything to share with the audience? Um, We're rounding out the episode now. Again, well, this is a, it's probably a shorter one because there's not much. Yeah, there's not much to do. Talking about your thing. 
We're just gonna keep playing more Animal Crossing and probably more Warzone. God, yes, Warzone. Shout yeah, out to fun. Warzone being good. Yeah, could have been easily bad. Right? Oh yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. like. I didn't like Blackout. You know. Yeah. I, I didn't. I was not a huge fan of Blackout. I didn't like the. Um, uh, the anything about it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like just anything. I didn't like it. See, I liked it way better than the Battlefield one, Firestorm. I didn't play that. So. Yeah, see, and I tried that, but uh, mm -mm, no. I I didn't even try it, so I'm just gonna assume I didn't. I won't like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just assume that it's not even for me. Um, but something about Warzone satisfying. I, uh, I've only it's it's it's. What's the word I'm looking for? Not hard. Uh, but uh, hard. I guess hard is the best way of describing it. But I want to say like it's, it's so easy to die. That that's oh, a better way. Sure. It's so easy to be killed, mm -hmm. because like you can just forget to check one corner, and that's where the guy was sitting at and waiting yep. for you. You know what I mean? That can be frustrating. Yep. But aside from that, I, it's great. And I'll have the times where I'm like I'm looking at a corner. I'll t I'm like, all right, nobody's there. So I'll keep going. And then I get shot from that corner. I'm like, how? I just look there. I will say buildings are very overpowered. And I know that sounds <laughs> yep. silly. <laughs> but if you're not in a building, you mm. cannot see into another building. So I think that's a little weird. It's because it's, it's so dark. I mean, I very realistic, I guess. I guess. But there's lights on, right? So, I mean, you would assume you can Is see there something. A I mean, there you can see when you go inside of it, so I assume so. Yeah. But it's just strange, how, like why I don't know why they made it so unreliable to look inside of things because it's so easy for people just sitting there, yeah. and also it's very easy just to sit on a building and snipe people. But it's oh, sad. for sure, I love it. I do it. No, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no. So they need to either take vehicles out or nerf them very much because oh you can very God. easily get in a vehicle and just run people over. Like we were playing the other night, and like, we see this car coming. I like I can see it coming. I try to move, and it just won't happen, and I just get run over. And you don't even really have to be hit head on. He nope. can back up and kind of hit you with his tail, not even going full speed, <laughs> and you still get killed. It's pretty hilarious. It, yeah. It's it's pretty hilarious that it's like that. Someone looked at that as game dev and went, "Yeah, it's balanced." Yeah. <laughs> like what? No, I think. The other day I was playing, and uh, this car was trying to hit me. I think he went over me. I proned, but like it, you could see that it went over me, but it still killed me. And I'm like, you didn't touch me, but okay. <laughs> and the, and you can't really kill them unless you have an RPG. And even if you have an RPG with the big truck, you're yeah. not killing that thing. Oh no no. Um, no, no. I was actually driving it last night because of how dumb it was. I was like, I'm just gonna run people over and have dumb fun. <laughs> You're that guy. I was running people. Oh yeah, I was that guy for that night. I was like, I need to try <laughs> this and see because I saw so many people do it. I'm like, let me try it and just see what I can do with this. Yeah. And it's as stupid as you can imagine. <laughs> literally, people. Li literally, people can't kill me. It's stupid. I can't believe that's in the game. But oh hey, no, yeah, that's I for digress. sure. I was doing I, that, um, you know, the little area before you actually start the match where you can just kill people. Yeah. I was on uh, the bridge by the dam, and people could just come into the truck that I was on. And I just kept running them back and <laughs> forward. I killed like maybe like ten people. They just kept coming to me. They were gonna get you, Alex. Oh yeah. They were gonna get you. I, I got um... out, and that's how they got me. <laughs> <laughs> they, he's out. Get him. Yeah, uh, that's what happened. I this reminds me of um, uh, Alex. I have a question actually. Mm. Uh, what what is what has been this quarantine like for you? Um, has it been unsettling? Do you not like it? Do you not care? Is it not changed much? I'm just curious. I'm it sure the audience hasn't is changed much for me because I'm still working. Okay, my schedule is still the same. It's just that um, when I get home, I try to make sure I, uh, I once I get in, I go and take a shower immediately just to make sure everything's good, cause mm -hmm. I'm trying to make sure I don't pass anything on to my wife or anything. Right. So I try to make sure where I'm I clean that, and everything. Does that work? What? 
I don't even know. I'm just I'm literally asking. Does it work? Well, like, from what I've heard, if you, for instance, if you have the virus on a piece of clothing, I I like, don't know. Just, just washing it. I don't I don't know. Well, all I've heard is that the this virus is actually not that so strong. Like literally, soap and Germex can kill it like easily. Oh, okay. But is it? Not a lot of people are doing what they need to do, so that's why it's like, spreading more. Because mm. my wife like was like, researching it, but like literally, soap and water can kill it, no problem. Okay. But yeah, it, it, like it's it's crazy. So that's why I was like, uh, as soon as I get home, I wash my clothes, take a shower, and, every, and uh, Lysol anything that I touch before I come in, because I don't want to pass anything to my wife. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Because I'm still running through the public. Yeah, I um, I. My job took quarantine measures a few days, but I'm actually yeah. um leave isn't the right word. I'm just using some PTO. Yeah. Uh, so for me, quarantine is very much of I'm in the house and I shouldn't leave, so I'm I haven't left. Yeah. Um, and it's been strange. I don't like it because I want to go outside, <laughs> but I yeah. understand like, you're not really supposed to. So yeah, I kind of like go outside for a little bit just to feel like a little bit of sun. Yeah. Like today, for instance, we ran errands. Mm-hmm. Whew, it was nice to have like the sun and wind touching him. Oh no, yeah, it's, it's crazy because this morning, I was off, so like I, uh, I saw this morning it was like gloomy, it was raining, and then like a couple hours later it was like so sunny and bright, and it felt so good outside. So um, uh, we sat outside for a little bit. We were gonna take the dogs on a walk, but we did, we we ended up not too. Mm-hmm. But um, we're yeah. How can I say? In a we're in a point with all this to where like I just I just hope it uh, gets better. Oh, of course, of course. I wish everyone to be better. Thank you to all the nurses, doctors. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Everyone working at grocery stores. I can't imagine. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> imagine how that. bad that must be. I can't imagine how that was. And yeah. Constantly restocking toilet paper. I can't. I oh my god. Literally cannot. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Uh, uh, but yeah, I want I want to to go play some Doom. Yeah. Um, I can't stop thinking about this game. I, I, oh, I actually man. recently fully upgraded. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Alex. You can upgrade them uh, each weapon. Uh-huh. Uh, their mods. You can upgrade. Oh them yeah, with yeah, weapon yeah, for points. sure. Yeah, with the with the then, with the little points. Yeah, and then when you upgrade it all the way, you get a special challenge to do. Yeah. So for instance, the shotgun that has uh, the grenade launcher attachment. Mm-hmm. When you fully upgrade that, you can um, use the uh, it unlocks the mod uh, challenge mod. Yeah. You then have to blow up a certain amount of things, whatever. Uh, yeah, you have to blow up twenty five of the weird brain turret guys. You okay. Have to blow up their turret. You have to do that twenty five times, and then you unlock the upgrade, which are really strong. You can shoot the grenades yep. six times before you have to reload. So you can literally like fully. Yeah, the first game did that too. Grenades. It's so nice. Oh, it did? Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell how long it's been. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I can just know. play it, so that's how I remember. It's like, uh-huh. when, once you get all the... Ch- unlock both mods, um, the challenge will unlock so where you, you can get that last upgrade or the, like, you know, uh, suit up for it. How do you feel about the platforming in this? I don't know how much you've experienced um, in your time, but how much... Uh, how, what do you think? I like that's it. Been, that's been the main main like source of contention of people being like, I love it, but it's yeah. usually. The, I, I, the I think I like it, but it's, I don't think that I'm used to it because this type this type of game is so fast paced that and uh, you want to just like run and gun instead of like you know stop, look, jump and grab, and then jump again. My my thoughts, eggs, and Alex, you nailed it. What what I wanted to bring up. I I don't hate the platforming, yeah. But I but when I hit it, it's always at a part where I just destroyed a bunch of demons and I feel great and I want to yeah. do it again. And then and, and it and just then like feels... a little thing comes up where you gotta swing and grab. I mean, I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, and I you know, there's a lot of levels where I don't mind it because I feel like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it feels natural. The level I just and st- uh, finished, mm-hmm. you have to like swim. <laughs> you and have to then, do it like, so extensively. You have to like swim, and then you have to shoot this like green s- circle thing to to lower the water. And oh, yeah, then there's a puzzle it. inside the water, and then I gotta dash through the water. Yeah, it's they could have relaxed a little with that, and that was a little yeah. much. 
I like the jumping and the, like I like when I feel like I'm almost flying. You know yeah. what I mean? Like and see that's so how many I feel. dashes and things like that. Yeah, because I've always enjoyed these fast paced games that I um I that it does like with you know with Quake, with the first Doom and stuff like that. Even this one I enjoy it, but like when it comes to many um platform puzzling i'm like all right uh i don't think this is the perfect game for this but i mean i like some of it i'm so curious on why developers insist on having something that breaks up the fun and i know there's a reason probably that is a good reason but for me it's just like why i think it's just to change it up every once in a while maybe maybe you're right maybe that's all it is it's just as plain as we don't want you to just run and shoot all the time because maybe then I would complain about how how there's nothing else to do repetitive it is and stuff. Yeah, so that's a good point. Maybe that is what it is. And another uh, complaint I've seen about the game is it is um, uh, very video gamey. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah, yes, it yes, does yes. not hide that it is a video game at all. You, there's literally power ups on the ground and there's there's. The, the enemies glow when they're ready to be killed and oh yeah, what yeah. Do, you, no, do you care do you go, no you? i enjoy it. everything about doom is like how they've done it to like the music the combat oh uh, my god the ai everything is so fun like doom is always already um always been fun I, like i went back to the first doom um and i was even enjoying that because i've never played that one before so good i was surprised you went back to it after all that time too and you picked it up i mean you picked it up and beat it yeah with the, which yeah, surprised yeah. me even more no offense alex you don't usually do that so oh no like, no yeah for sure but you beat it I, like i was like oh you're playing it oh cool so you're gonna play a few levels like, yeah i do it all the time too you play yeah. a few and you you get back out of it but you went and you were like yeah i'm i'm like two two ways from the last level i was like what <laughs> yep i just stuck with it because i had nothing else to play really and hey kudos to you you know, people say it all the time. You got a better game than I did. Yeah. You got a better version of what oh, I played. Oh, for sure. Because when you I waited. first, yeah, I waited for the the when I tried playing it for the first time, it didn't feel right, and I was like, oh, it's not catching me. It doesn't, you know, it's not sixty frames. It was, it was, it wasn't feeling right. So I was like, I'll play this later. When I picked it up, the the other month, I picked it up, sixty frames, and all the glitches that 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 it had went away. It, it just felt so right, and I'm like, oh, I'm in this. Yeah, and that's one of the things that a lot of people say, where it's like, hey, why spend sixty and play the game where I could wait and get a perfect version of it? And that's yep. true. I mean, that's one of the one of the instances you experience yourself. I mean, hey, yeah. you played a better way, probably a ten times version better yep. version than I did. And it's crazy because I put, and I I mean it was on Game Pass, so like I didn't I don't own the game. I went to Game Pass yeah, and it was on there. There you go. Kudos to Game Pass. For man. free kind of, not really. Oh Alex. Mm. We're at that point where we're sign we're like uh we're like at that point in um Mr. Rogers. Is it what isn't that what it's called? <laughs> Maybe where he's like he's like putting on his sweater he's like all right guys we're getting ready to leave you know i've never watched mr rogers so i have no idea. i haven't either I, I just make things up yeah i just assume that's what i don't even know what he do. what does he do does he just i think he just he like talks to people i don't know i guess he just talks to the, are- to the camera i don't know if anybody knows send us like a link of an, like an old mr rogers episode just so we can watch <laughs> because i have no idea or sum up what mr rogers is in five words oh, <laughs> in God. the comments and I will like and reply to them. We've yeah, actually yep. been getting a lot of comments. I've been talking. Oh yeah, about yeah, them. I'm enjoying that. Yeah. I have the um thing up, I think, on my YouTube thing, so I always yeah. check it. If you guys comment, I see it and I immediately reply to it. And it's it's been so. F- is I want <laughs> five words, make it as stupid as possible. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for listening to this week's episode of the self quarantine easy achievers gaming podcast. We are quarantined. Don't worry. We're quarantine. Yep. If you liked this, don't worry. Don't worry. There's more. Don't worry. Just come back every Friday, just like you did today. You can get it. You see us again. Don't cry. Stop. Stop. Don't cry. All right. Bear, and bear <laughs> with us if there's any glitches or hiccups that you hear or anything. Just uh, oh yeah, you know, I probably we're should trying. Have said that. We're on we're on Discord. I think it is. Yeah, yes. Discord. We're on Discord and we're recording in a very unnatural way. So Look, I'm a, I'm explaining a quick summary of how I'm doing this. Oh, Jesus. I'm using a MacBook. I'm using Discord. And I'm using the audio from Discord and recording it to GarageBand. 
with a certain plugin and stuff. So it sounds weird, but it's working and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I can't wait for an actual audio like the de- like designer like person? Or sound engineer and be like, yeah. you guys are doing what? <laughs> yeah. and be like, like no, just this do this easier. and then and, and, and we're gonna be like oh <laughs> yeah they're gonna be like just do this and they'll try to explain it because it's the easier way but i don't understand the easier way because i've already been accustomed to this and i'll be like oh, we're gonna what? be like we're gonna be like all right give us 30 minutes we'll see if we can figure this out yep <laughs> all right guys again every friday you can come over here give us the likes give us the comments give us the uh subscription the view time all that good stuff it helps a lot if you like this even more than that you can have over to patreon.com slash easy achievers give us the dollar helps us out a lot gives you every exclusive we've ever filmed which is uh a lot, not a super lot but i mean hey it's like 20 episodes i think now or 15 something like that i don't know on but it's a lot of them it's a lot of them. what are our episodes yeah every, we're on yeah, episode that's... 36 or 37 yeah, and that will give them every if they give us the buck, that will give them every exclusive that's ever come out. So that's like at least twelve, I think, or something like that. I don't remember, but you could have our Patreon.com. That gives you all of them there. That gives you uh, uh, ever an extra five bucks to everything early. We appreciate the support. It keeps the mics on, the lights on, and it keeps Alex's dogs fed. I need to have them fed. And they're hungry. Yep, always. They're outside. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're not gonna let them in unless you give them a dollar. <laughs> Oh God, they do eat cat food. So strange. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go achieve. Go achieve.